on today's edition of the news. We've got lots of new images of the child to show you here in this video. More cross comparisons for the next wave of vintage, which is the old reissue wave. Confirmation about the date that the retro collection drops. Someone out there already has their collection already. We'll check out a couple of customs and remember this guy, he come in a set of four. We might show you the rest of them. All this and more coming up. Welcome to my television toy showcase channel late in the evening as you can see sun is going down it's starting to get shadowy never mind anyway usually in my videos I'm very excited to show you at the end of the video some new stuff that I've picked up but we're at the front of the video let's check them out now <gasps> a nice minty fresh Cara Dune number 164 oh come into shot there with the low light it takes a little bit longer to get in focus but wow I want to get in on her face. It is just the best. Come on, nice and clear. It's focusing on this face. It should be focusing on that face. Come on, come on. That might be as good as I can get. That still, that is unbelievable. This is how much I love having humans as action figures because it is just a fine art of getting the face perfect. Over the years you've seen many a cringe Luke Skywalker face because Mark Hamill's face just does not translate onto action figure very well. This one however, Gina Carano's figure, oh, brilliant. If she's watching, I love this figure. So you go there, next to your buddy. Also in that wave, the Clone Trooper. This is VC45, a re-release. I never had this figure, Attack of the Clones one, but wow. We need more clones because of the Clone Wars. There are people out there enjoying that show as we speak. Some of us have to go through the series to catch up to that episode 7, or series 7, sorry. <laughs> but this figure, excellent. I'll go show you the back. The backs are all the same on this series. Showing off the previous wave there on the bottom, and there's all the new wave on the top. I did tell you that I did get them and they've been replaced so the bubbles are not crushed. I had some very, very bad ones. But unfortunately, the Remnant Stormtrooper. I'm stuck with the bad one. But you can see the card, well, it can be flattened over time. But I don't know what's going to help this gigantic big hole that has ripped in there. It's just... Oh well. So be it, VC-165 is the Remnant Stormtrooper. It is a great looking figure. The card on this one, unfortunately, yeah. Mm. Great stuff. So, there's the wave complete. When Dorkside put their figure shields back in stock, or I might get them from Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles, they got some Evo cases. They're exactly the same. Put them in, fill up the wall some more. Awesome stuff. Let's move on to some news. First bit of news is there's some pictures of the child in his little tiny box floating around the internet and a couple who subscribed to me sent me these images. This is from Ashley Chloe. Thank you Ashley. Her husband and herself watch the program all the time. Thank you very much you guys and have sent me along the child pictures alongside the Mandalorian and doesn't it look fantastic that's the height difference in the packaging and there's another lovely shot there which should make my thumbnail it is fantastic I was right the whole time that the little tiny box is the size of the Porg box so if you don't have your little Porgs that's the Porgs there do, 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 do. you'll see this image it's exactly the same the only difference being that the child does not have any artwork on the box because the name spreads out over the side. Also, the spines of them, you can see, both got their little name on the red, red side. Very nice. Another image of the child is from Yakface. This one here breaks it into all the pieces that it comes in. 13 pieces in, in all. Pulled off the arms and the hands and the feet and even that little plastic box that holds all the accessories it breaks into as well these are starting to trickle out but they aren't officially released until in this country at least may or june but some people already have them in hand congratulations i hope to see the black series child figure very very soon 
it'll look nice alongside the Porgs, it will. Awesome stuff. Moving on to a retro collection. As I've told you before, I was suspecting that the retro collection will drop May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. But here is some proof that we have them early in this country. This is Australia only. Uh, the person who sent me this picture wants to remain anonymous, so there it is on the screen. The 1st of May. If you're wondering, you guys around the world, we do our dates back to front. There they are. Excellent stuff. And here is one of the first in-hand shots of the retro collection. As you can see, the stickers on them are still tilted to that side. And you can see on the card backs, the distressing on each card is different. Well, what you can see of the card, they're all individually, they're, they're done them so they don't repeat the pattern. But all the characters will have their own distressing on the card to make it unique. As you can tell, I did not put this in my video, but I'm editing it in later of the cross comparisons between the TVC first release and the new ones that are coming up in Wave 12. There is the carded image and the loose images of Lando Calrissian, C-3PO, Luke Skywalker, and Han Solo. Now it's back to me. Just want to give a big shout out to all you guys who did the action figure challenge. There's still time, you do it as long as you like and then I'll compile them all together and make a video out of it. They've been sent to me via direct message or on Instagram. Just make your video where you film your action figures, where you do your first one, your latest one, your biggest one, your smallest one, your favorite one, your most expensive one, and the cheapest one. And then put the hashtag action figure challenge and I'll find you on the internet and we'll compile in videos all together in one great big video. Excellent stuff. Gonna show you a few customs now. This first custom comes from Black Series underscore Rebel. It is a character from The Mandalorian. This is a character known as Fennec Shand and wow very very nice. I like the design of even the outfit not just the face. The face looks fantastic. Will we ever see this character in the Black Series? Perhaps not, but this is a very fine custom indeed. Moving on to someone who does them all the time. What a great Instagram account. 12 Parsecs Customs. Does some fantastic work. Check out the Mandalorians. These Mandalorians here have three different versions of it. So it's like the, the original version, the I'm almost there, and complete best car armor. Fan. Fantastic. And before I go, I want to share with you a little collection that one of my subscribers, Jarrett Sykes, check this out. Little collection film. stuff thank you very much everybody for watching today my sponsor is Aussie sci-fi collectibles for your Star Wars Marvel DC TV movies WWE and sci-fi needs check him out today link in the description down below by using discount code UMTV follower you can save money at checkout also if you'd like to buy some merch check out my shirts all of my shirts and accessories such as coffee mugs are available in my Redbubble store buying from the Redbubble store helps out the channel so thank you very much if you'd like to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter at UsualMike30 or on Instagram at UsualMikeTelevision. And if you'd like to send some fan mail, it's up here at PO Box 957, Lismore, New South Wales 2480 Australia. And if you haven't done so already, hit subscribe, Ooh. tap that little bell for the notifications, slap a like on this video if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. All the best. Bubble Fett's on my trail! Gotta jump to hyperspace! From Kenner's Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back Collection, new Hoth Ice Planet Adventure Game. When your Millennium Falcon lands on an Imperial Villains Battle Square, you bet your Force cards. Lost it! But if you win ten cards, you're ready for the final battle. Look out, Darth! The Force wins again! Hoth Ice Planet Adventure Game comes with everything you see here. From Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back Collection, new from Kenner.